all right what's good guys welcome to another tutorial before we begin this video um <laughs> i like to recap on um other video we told at least i told you guys that we're going to be posting more frequently on this channel but um we went in, we ran into a couple issues or problems on the 100 subscriber special it should have been out by now but um we're figuring things out so it should be coming out soon more sooner like um but i'm not going to give a specific time because it might be some other um issues that might occur anyways guys i just want to apologize for that um be working on it and um without further ado let's get right into this tutorial all right we'll be basically going to be doing in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to make um this grass in um a soccer ball and we're going to be doing this in cycles and also ev so um, make sure you guys um have the latest version of blender and um let's get straight into it okay guys the first thing i'm going to do is just Turn on this shortcut key cast so you guys can see what I'm doing. And um, okay, the first thing we're gonna do is just hit X to delete the default cube. We're gonna hit Shift A. We can go down the plane over here. Then we're gonna scale that plane by clicking S. Then afterwards, what we're gonna do? We can go down here. Then we're gonna hit New. We can first we're gonna set the here. We're gonna set this on here. Then we're gonna set the number to um, fifty thousand. Then afterwards, we're gonna go down here to here length. Then we're gonna set it to 0.3. Then we can go to um, uh, advanced. We can check that little box there. Then we're just gonna go down to physics. Then we're gonna set um, this right here. We're gonna set this to 0.3. Okay, um, you guys can see there that that basically like gave the grass some randomness. You guys can see this randomized it, it all the um, particles and stuff. So here we can go to material, we're going to hit new, then we're going to go down to base color, then we're going to set the base color to something around like a um, middle green, we're going to take that down to the, um, the, you know, the light, we're going to put it down, then we're going to go to hex, we're going to go to the hex value, you guys, if you guys want to get like the same exact color, you guys could just type this hex value right over here, just type up the, um, the um, numbers. Okay, now we're going to see how this looks in Eevee. You guys could already see that you could actually render this out now. We just need a little bit of lighting. But um yeah. Let's go back to solid view. Then we're gonna hit H to hide it. We're gonna hide the grass by clicking H. We're gonna hit shift A shift A. Then we're gonna add an ice full sphere. And this is basically gonna be our ball. So first thing first, we have to go down here. Then we're gonna set the subdivisions to one. Afterwards, we just gonna hit tab to go to edit mode. Go up here, it's face selecting mode. We're gonna hit okay now we're gonna hit control shift B. Control shift B. Then that's basically just gonna give us like allow us to make bevels. We just gonna make a couple bevels right there. We're gonna go down here. Then we're gonna set the offset to the bevel offset. We're gonna set it to around 350. Somewhere around there. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna hit we just gonna oh yeah, we're gonna go down here to materials. We're gonna select you see the faces that we selected right there? We're gonna set the the color. We're gonna set this color, the first color, to black. Then we're gonna hit um, Control I, and then that's that's just gonna get everything around it, the stuff that we didn't select. So all of these right here, we're gonna set this color to first. Yeah, first we need to make a new. We need to make a new material. So hit new. Then we're just gonna set this to a white color. You guys can leave it at that, but you should bring it up the intensity. We're gonna hit assign. Then um, we're just gonna see how this looks. You see what you see what it did. It basically like gave the the faces that we first selected. It gave it some. Um, it set the color for it. Okay, now we're just gonna hit A to select everything. We can go down here. Then we're just gonna scroll down by holding it, then selecting this one. And this is basically just gonna push out the faces that selected. So that's just gonna push out the faces. We just need to do it a little bit so it could be like some gaps between the the um. The soccer, the soccer ball, hold, I mean, the soccer ball, different colors or different things. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do here is just go to modifiers. Then we're gonna set this. To, we're gonna make a subdivision surface modifier. And we need to do this. You guys can see here that like, it looks kind of messed up. But if we hit, if we hit, um, go over here, then we set the the mean crease. We set this to 100. That's the that's the uh, maximum, by the way. If you set it to 100, you see what it did there. It basically gave our like our ball some you know some shape 
Okay, then now we're just going to hit cast right here. Then we're going to go down here to um, this right here factor. We can set the factor to something around 80. 88 right here. This is good. Then it's basically done. All we just need to do now is this smooth shade. Then, um, yeah, the, basically, the ball is basically done. So now what we just need to do is just apply the stuff. So we're just going to apply this. Okay, first, let me put this. We're going to put the render in the viewport to 3. Apply that. Apply this one. And the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go to here. Then we're going to select subdivision surface modifier. What we're doing here is just giving it more detail. You guys don't actually have to do this. If it goes too slow, you guys can skip this um, step right here. But this basically gives like our ball some more detail. So next thing we're going to need to do is go to material. Wait, let me let me um, enable the grass or fast. Click this little eye icon to do it, by the way. We're going to move the ball on the z-axis, G, move it on the z-axis, so it could be sitting right on the grass. Then the next thing we're going to do here, we can go down to roughness. Right? We can go down here in the roughness. Then we're going to set the roughness to something around, we should put it something around 100, maybe 100 in, maybe 120. I think 120 would be good. So yeah, set it to 120. Then that basically gives like our ball, as you guys can see here, it's like it's a reflection on a ball. So that's it gives it like some good lighting right there. Like if you put now now what we just need to do is just add a, a better light source. So we're gonna delete this by clicking X. We're gonna hit shift A, we can go down here to to light, then we're gonna set click sun. We're gonna hit G, we're gonna move that on the z-axis upwards. Then we just gonna hit you know, we just gonna move it upwards a little bit. Then we just need to hit G, we're gonna move it on the on the y axis. Then now what we just do we just need to or rotate it and make it point at the at the um, scene. So we're gonna rotate it on the on the on the x axis. So about there. Okay, here we here's the strength. We're gonna set the strength to something like around eight. Then the color we need to give it like a little yellowish hueish color. So bring that a little bit down to around there. And then again, you guys could copy the hex fire you right here if you guys just want to get the same exact color. Okay, so we're gonna go back here to we're gonna go to um, EV, the EV render engine, and you see, you guys can see what it did. The sun gives like the grass more life and gives it. I I, I decided to use like a sun because it'll look better because it gives it like a more lighting and stuff. So I just moved that a little bit. So here, what we're gonna do is. It's basically done, but we see the reflections that we're trying to get right there. Okay, so I think we should in the, put the strength a little bit more, maybe nine. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna hit zero to go to the camera view. Then from here, we're just gonna go to view. We're gonna then we're gonna select lock camera to view right here, and that's gonna allow us to move, rotate, and pan the view. I'll be looking in our scene. So we just need to you could you guys could actually just I think we need to make this grass a little bit bigger if you're gonna move it like that. So we're gonna S scale it out. We're gonna G. And actually I think we just yeah that looks good. Okay the next thing we need to do is the next thing I'm gonna do you guys don't have to do this step you guys can just render it out but what I'm doing now I'm just gonna change the color of the grass because I like it mine a little bit lighter okay so I think we need to go to let me see I think we need to change the lighting a little bit more so what I'm doing you guys I don't have to if y'all like it like this y'all can keep it I'm just gonna set the intensity to 11 because I think it needs to go a little higher I think that looks a little better in my in my opinion yeah, like this. Okay, we're gonna set the render samples to 200. Then we're just gonna render this out in Eevee and see how this looks. Okay, guys, as you guys can see here, this is the final render in Eevee. And this took around 30 seconds to render. Okay, now the second thing is we're gonna try to render it out in cycles. All you have to do is just switch it to cycles. Then we're gonna set the render samples. We're gonna set this one to 400 render samples. 
this might take a while on if you have a um my computer takes around like 30 minutes so I'm just gonna hit render render right here okay guys here's the final render in cycles this took around 30 30 minutes to render all right guys before we end this tutorial I'd like to give like a little shout out to one of our subscribers um you guys can find him here at Slayer he does um PUBG mobile content and um I think you guys should go check him out Alright guys, I just wanted to say thank you for whoever followed us on Instagram. Um, on the previous tutorial, I told you guys <laughs> to follow us on Instagram. And I see that we, we gained like a lot of um, followers on there. And um, if you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And um, hit that bell notification so you guys can get notified when we put out a new video. And um, yeah, peace.